All right, folks, Relink Gamers, we are back for more Grand Blue Fantasy Relink for you here. And, you know, it's another day, another dollar. We got we got proud quests. We got to clock into our shift here. We are going through and trying to clear out as many of these proud quests as we possibly can. We can't upgrade any of our sigils, can we? No, no, not really. Um, eh, this one, I guess, the sub damage. Oh, I don't see why not, right? It's not like it hurts. We, we might want a sub damage five eventually, right? But still, this is uh, technically it's just straight up more damage. Right? It's never, never going to never going to hurt. Yeah, last time, we, you know, we were going through Proud. We got rid of all four of the dragons. Elosius was much less of a problem this time than he was last time, right? So that, that's that's definitely good. Our AI being much more competent in that fight than they used to be. And now we've got a bunch of these multiple boss boss fights, right? So last time we did all four of the Earth of the Worms there. We got S++ pluses on all of them, so that's good. A good sign that we are pretty ahead of the power curve for now, right? And we got we did this one, which was two Nazar Banju and a Garrison. Let's see how it goes now. Dolly Relic Belt. Quackadile's walking the vital desert trade routes, which isn't pissing off people, but it's got the local rock golems all stirred up. Okay, okay. It's probably, what, two rock golems and a quackadile, right? It seems like it's going to be two of something and one of something else. So probably my guess is two rock golems and a quackadile here. So let's see. Uh, flawless prisms, stun power, and stamina. Oh, that's actually a good point. We got a crit and stamina or a, uh, from, from that last one, right? I believe we did from the uh, that thing, yeah, our Dark Soul. Uh, yeah, I, th I think so. I wouldn't want to replace this stamina, though, just because... Yeah, but crit hit rates would basically eventually allow us to not even have vitality rights or a lucky charge on our, on our right stone. Because we're not going to want lucky charge on our right stone eventually. What we really want is we want, like, you know, guts and auto revive. Because right now we are basically forced to keep the stamina on here, even though it's a four plus instead of a five. Because I need this auto revive. And just putting it in here, at least having the stamina, is better than just having a raw auto revive, right, for our damage. So uh, eventually we'll want that on the right stone. And crit will help us get rid of our reliance on our right stone to get us to 100% crit on our uh, charge attacks right now. Uh, so that could be something, right? Um, but for now, I, I think... And, and basically, it's not just a crit, which normally be a waste. It's a stamina, too, right? It's a, but, but the fact that our stamina here is 15... Huh? Yeah, yeah, since we since we we don't have a better right stone to slot in right now anyways, I don't think we want that necessarily. But again, these like, yeah, these basic stat pluses that come along with a uh, stamina are actually pretty good, right? The stamina is something that we are using right now, so. This is basically just a stamina 5 plus is how you can, how you can think about this, even though it says stun power 5 plus. Uh, anyways, drop items. Again, we looked over. Nothing super important here, I don't think. Yeah, let's just go punch them in the face. And go from there. Again, I think it's probably going to be two Quackadiles and... Or sorry, two, one Quackadile and two Rock Golems is my guess. But we shall see. We shall see, won't we? Elemental Weakness again. Yeah, War Elemental. I I, I gave like 50 Kyrios to Zathba and I got none War Elemental, which is unfortunate. War Elemental sounds like it will be an absolute wonderful time right now. If we could get it to level 15 too, I would be uh, pretty pogged up about that. Oh, no, it's one Rock Golem and two Quackadiles. Okay, it's probably better. Quackadile is an easier boss overall. Oh, man. Yeah, Quackadile is uh, like his... Uh, even though even if they have the same stats, right? It's kind of like we were talking about with the Nazar Banjus in the in the last one, right? Uh, Quackadile just has much more vulnerability windows baked into his moveset, right? Whereas the Rock Golem, not quite as much, right? So I, I'll be I'll be glad to have more Quackadiles and fewer Rock Golems there. What the hell? We're sliding, I suppose. We're fighting this Quackadile now. Sure, I, I, I suppose I can't complain. I have no choice in the matter. Bonk, bonk. Link attack. A small bonk there. And let's go back to the double bonks. Yeah, we switched over, I believe. By, I mean, did I talk about this already in this episode? We switched over to Soul Eater uh, from Alsarov again. Just to get that lucky charge off of our... Ooh, let's heal up here. Uh, what? Undying? Oh my god, I think I did it right before. I thought I did it right after Undying uh, went away. I guess I did it right before. Unfortunate. That's a waste of our Mega Potion there. Not a big deal. This is not a particularly difficult fight, but still a, a bit silly. Because the potions are quite useful for DPS for us, actually. Because we do want to uh, stay pretty healthy so that stamina can uh, can do us well, right? And get us some closer to our damage caps there. Uh, what's talk oh yeah, but we switched to Soul Eater, basically to get to free up a space instead of have Whoa, goddamn. I did not realize that had multiple hits there. Okay. Instead of having to get uh, Lucky Charge there as a sigil, we put it on a right stone. And then with the extra crit rate from Soul Eater, we were able to still get to 100% crit on our charge attacks. And what this means now is we were, able to slot we were able to slot in another damage cap 5. So our numbers are uh, significantly... Oh, I really thought I could just charge that up and then, and then parry him, but I got a little greedy, I suppose. Let's, uh, let's not get too silly with it, right? We not we don't really care about S++ plusing this, even though it would be nice to just have all the S++ pluses there. They look nice to, to look at, right? But realistically, it's just more so we want to clear these things as efficiently as possible, as quickly as we can. And uh, going down is not conducive to clearing the quest quickly. So let's uh, let's play a little smarter for that purpose, essentially. 
All right, Ooh, he's bloodthirsting. He's gonna he's gonna god skin noble. I think you are just rewards. Still, honestly, pretty decent damage. 100. And, oh my god, he landed right on my head. Wait, why did that? that did, it said it did 10,000 damage, but at one shot. Was I not at full health there? I guess I must not have been. Maybe it had multiple hits and I just didn't notice. Hard to say. Anyway, any case, we are back up on our feet here. We did lose our Grinoth gauge bonus, unfortunately. We're not at max uh, attack up from Grinoth anymore. Uh, this is the wrong Quackadile. It, it is probably better, well, not probably. It is certainly better to uh, to fo focus fire on one guy, right? Because as soon as it goes down from three enemies to two, and then from two enemies to... Actually, no, this is... Neither, none of the Quackadiles are... Wow. He, he pulled me in a lot more there than I thought. I thought I could run away. But no, he actually got me all the way into him in a way that I wasn't expecting. They, they buffed up Quackadile's moveset a little bit. I see you, I see you. Maybe this is the first time that I've actually bothered to try and run away from that move. But I've noticed that the vacuum monitor is actually pretty uh, severe. Who knows? Anyways, we will we will uh, save our Skybound Dart after our Link time here. Just because I do actually want to get as many Link times as I can, potentially. Uh, he's doing the thing, too. Okay. Oh, God. Failed the dodge there a little bit. That's fine. We did manage to block most of it still. Uh, yeah, we want, to, we want to thin the numbers as soon as we can, right? Getting down to two enemies and then to one is going to be a lot better than killing all of them uh, at the same time by kind of spacing out our damage. It's obviously, you know, sometimes it's kind of hard to just focus fire on the same guy over and over, but we will do our best regardless. Crocodile focusing in on us here. He's going to miss and bonk himself. Exactly. So I'm talking about with Quackadile, even if his numbers get tuned up, this is a lot of vulnerability windows baked into his kit in the way that something like, I don't know, like Brazarek Fireworm or something doesn't try. Uh, get the moon is gonna set on your ass. Okay, apparently it's not. Oh, they're they're all doing link times over there. I didn't even notice. How about here? Are they are they, are they ready to join my cause? No, we're fighting different monsters, and that made it kind of difficult to uh, focus up. Unfortunately, I had a skybound arted there. It's one to avoid the attack, and also oh no, no, I want to save it for link time. God damn, I, I I had like a brain fart there where I was like, oh he's gonna attack me. Skybound art some invincibility. We can use that. But uh, I I forgot about uh, the part where I was trying to save the link times there. Okay. On the bright side, they're all sort of grouped up right now, so I can... Oh, never mind. Not anymore. They can still hit us, even during the Skybound arts like this? That feels like cheating. Oh, I'm down? God damn it. Okay. Uh, please, thank you for the heal. We can get up and, and contribute to the fights real quick, like. Uh, who just got broken? Was it a Quackadile? No. Yeah. Oh, yes, it was. Okay. The Golem is still... I thought it was the Golem. The Golem is still very much in uh, that thing. His Dark Soul uh, in, in Bloodthirst, right? This is, I will say, yeah, these, these multiple boss boss fights are definitely, they're a little weird just because it feels like, like, I'm not used to having to worry about all of these different hitboxes, right? Uh, but it'll, it'll, it'll take some getting used to, I suppose. We didn't get the critical condition uh, thing there, so we're obviously not going to get an S++ or anywhere close to it, probably, on this mission. That's fine. Again, we're, we are just trying to clear these relatively quickly, if we can if we can uh, manage it. Who has got broken? It's also sometimes kind of hard to tell, like, who, who, who I should be hitting at every moment. Yeah, we got link time, at least, on this guy, so we can uh, very much start bonking him all the way to hell. We're hitting damage cap there, too, so this is perfect. We're getting max possible DPS on his ass. We're gonna do it one more time. There you go. At least we'll get one of these to start up in link time, so it'll be the quicker charge. Rock em. Collateral damage, as always. The funniest skill in video gaming history. Uh, get Grinoth nerd. Get double Grinoth nerd. Get Battalions nerd. Uh, I guess I'll do this, just so I can keep uh, pounding on people without having to worry about uh, these rolls or these bloodthirsts or anything like that uh, causing me any kind of issues. Yeah, yeah, we can just tank right through all of this and just hit the rock golem, even though the Quackadile is off on his, his bloodthirst bullshit. There's a rock golem broken while we're there. Good stuff. I mean, again, we, we would want to just be focusing on that Quackadile that's almost dead, and we will right now when he goes through here and uh, misses this big roll. There you go. Now we'll swap back over to him. Right? But in the meantime there, basically, while he was in Bloodthirst, we were still able to get uh, some productive damage in on the goal. Okay, okay. Let me do that real quick. Wonderful. Now we're back at full health. We've got our auto revive back up too, so that's good. If we do go down, we will immediately come back up. Uh, even even more important than normal, because it, it helps us keep our attack up on our Grinoth gauge. Right? So we, we don't lose all that time in that down status, so we don't lose the attack up from Grinoth. Which is quite important to help us stay at damage cap consistently here. Oh, baby. Yeah, like right here, for example, right? We will lose the attack up for going down, but the, the gauge basically won't deplete in time, right? Oh, baby. Oh, I couldn't link attack in time. That's unfortunate. Uh, he's, we won't spend the SBA on this guy because he's about to get broken and die for all intents and purposes. Bonk. Bonk. There you go. And we'll hit him with the big boy right here. And we don't have the attack up. This should still be basically at damage cap. There you go. Uh, he's, actually, he's actually not going to die on this break, I don't think, because I'm the only one hitting him. But he's going to be damn close. Yeah, one more here. We'll take him down to about 4%, I think. 
Oh my god, actually would have been more if he got that second hit off, but he uh, he tail swept me pretty quickly. That's, I am praying, I'm definitely playing a little bit careless here, but it's fine. Again, it's not that big of a deal. We're not trying to S plus plus these, and we don't really care about any of the drops for this, anyways, right? We are just trying to get through here as quick as we can. Now again, we could do it a lot quicker if I wasn't going down so much, but you know, sometimes you gotta you gotta save the brain power for the Bahamut versus of the world, right? This uh, this Quackadal here, he can just he can just go the way of the Dodo, and we don't really have to worry about him. Um, I guess we'll I guess we'll I guess we'll do you next. Why not? Sure, why not? Even though I, I was kind of wanting to clear out both the Quackadals first, but he just happens to be right in front of me, so. Now, happy birthday. Uh, you have you have won the right to be absolutely blown to smithereens by the entire crew of the Grand Cypher. This is a rare honor, you know. Okay, damage cap right there. And bonk. Oh, did I not charge that up all the way? I know, I think I did. Actually, I think I did. Dying is one side of chaos. You know how it is. Oh, that messed up my... Uh, the, the little cut in there did mess up my dodge cancel time, which happens occasionally. It's unfortunate. It's not so big of a deal. He's gonna overdrive here. We get the there you go, get the bonk off before he does that, and still perfect dodge that. Uh, what is Earthshaker again? Is it, is it particularly worrisome? I guess that that is. Oh wait, I want to link him. Oh, I did not link him. Okay, okay. I guess while he's doing this, woo, okay, I was gonna say while he's doing this, we can go hit the Quackadile, but they're both actually in Bloodthirst at roughly the same time here. Actually, the Quackadile is not in Bloodthirst. Is it? Uh, can only one boss be in Bloodthirst at a time? Is there some sort of limit on that? The Golem's not in Bloodthirst anymore. I don't think. So maybe the Quackadile is now going to go into Bloodthirst? Yeah, exactly. So I think, yeah, I think it is. Maybe only one boss can be a Bloodthirst, uh, in Bloodthirst at any one time. For balancing reasons, possibly. The Golem's going to do big jump. There he is. Okay, I blocked that at the very least. Some of it, anyway. Hide behind the rocks there. Quackadile can do his thing. There you go. And now he's going to do this thing. And it's going to end horribly for him, as it always does. Perfect. Whoa! He actually didn't hit a wall there. He hit the one part of the arena where there wasn't any walls, huh? How a likely story. What a what a what a what a fortunate coincidence for you, my friend. Uh, we are not going. Oh, as I say, we are not going to link time because Rockham is apparently preoccupied. But no, he, he did manage to contribute to the team eventually. There, I guess we can link attack here just to get more link time. Uh, well, I, am, I am splitting up damage, which I said I shouldn't do. But you know, uh, do what I say, not what I do. Advice for you for for ye, but not for me or something. Oh, I didn't charge that up all the way. I thought we had the link time charge. So that'll be quicker. Undying here will help us basically finish off the Rock Golem without having to respect any of his nonsense. Or I guess we'll just keep hitting the Quackadile. Yeah, I think the big thing that makes this fight uh, not go as cleanly as maybe the Garrison Nazar Bonji one, uh, besides just some more careless play for me in general, is the fact that we weren't able to split our damage. Or we didn't, at least we didn't focus on splitting our damage quite as cleanly as we did in, or not splitting, focusing our damage actually. We split our damage too much. Right, like these guys all have like basically, uh, the Nazar Bonju went down and the other ones all had almost 100% HP left. It was, all, it was just the damage that the AI did to them. Whereas I've been uh, splitting my damage between these guys a lot more, which causes some trouble. This guy's dead now, though. This SBA will be uh, a three burst, I think. The captain is not going to get that 9% in time, is my guess. But that, that should be more than enough to uh, blow the, the doors off of this guy. There you go. Well, again, Skybound Dart takes a whole a long time to actually explode, too, which is nice. Gives us uh, some more time to charge things up. And this three burst here is going to kill him. Get up! There you go. Okay, okay. Definitely, you know, not, not our not our cleanest multi-boss fight of the two that we fought so far. Not our cleanest one, but still went pretty easily. Now, we were never really in any danger there. It's just more so that I went down a whole lot because I was just kind of swinging at people and not paying attention to their hitboxes. Wonderful. Over already. We overkilled somebody? I suppose so. Maybe that last Quackadile there with the uh, thing. Uh, the full burst or the three burst, possibly. Silver Garrison. I've been told, again, that these, are, these get very, very useful. I've already seen that you need quite a few of them uh, for upgrading sigils, right? So at the very least, that's a pretty important thing. We are getting we're, we're getting them at a, like a decent clip, I suppose. We're getting like one a quest, roughly, it feels like. But that might not be enough as the demand for them keeps skyrocketing as we go further into the game here. We'll see, we'll see. Stun Power 5 Plus, uh, not horrible. Silver Centrum, we'll take that. Some Refinium, we'll take that. Sure, nothing nothing here that we need, necessarily, but, you know, you never know You never know when stockpiling some stuff might come in handy. Uh, I suppose, you know, I suppose you could take a quick detour to Sierra here and see uh, what she's got for us. I did say we, we could possibly do some transmutation at the end of the last one. Uh, any right stones I really don't... Is there any right stone that I do care about is the better question before I... Uh, damage cap, but it's, eight, it's on HP, so I don't care. Um, this Auto Revive one is technically, like, that could be good once we don't need crit anymore. So I think I will hold on to that one. Uh, just, just because getting auto revive there, basically, even though this this isn't a great right stone, it frees up a sigil slot, basically. Because that stamina four right now is tied to us because I want the auto revive. 
Uh, okay, yeah, but I think all these, all the rest of these, basically, I don't think I really care about in any way, shape, or form. Is that right? Uh, yeah, looks like it, looks like it. So please get the hell out of Dodge. All of you right stones, get away from me. And then let's trade some worthless sigils. Attack power 5 plus with skilled assault, I don't care. Uh, HP and guts, I guess that is just a better guts in a way, right? Yeah, so sure, I guess we can keep that. It's better, it's, it is just a better version of guts. Uh, critical hit rate stamina, we'll keep that one. Critical hit rate throw damage, no, we will not keep that one. Stun power stamina, I don't think I'll ever really put that on. I don't think, maybe, but well, we'll keep that one too. The ones that come with, the ones that are basically a stamina 5+, plus, uh, they're good enough to keep. Charge attack and damage, that is good. That is actually a better version of our current charge attack, but we just need to get to level 15, I suppose. We'll keep it in, uh, just in case. Throw, I don't care about it at all. Uh, garrison and auto revive, it's something. I'll keep it just in case. Oh, I still need to keep, I keep wanting to give this to the captain and I keep forgetting. Attack power five, crit rate five, stun power five with nothing on it. Uh, enmity, I don't think we really care about it anymore. I did give it to Eugen, I suppose, but I think it's, I don't, I don't think that he lives on low HP very often. So it is, it is a little bit silly, but. Um, life on the line, we can get rid of that one. A lot of link togethers and combo boosters and things that I don't care about. Lucky charge, we only need the one. We actually don't even use that anymore, but still we'll get rid of it. Uh, quick charge fives, I will hold on to because I, I might eventually want at least two of those. Uh, we do have one slotted already. So I guess I'll never need three. So I, I will get this one, uh, get rid of this one. At, at most, I will only ever use uh, two quick charge fives. The caps at 30, right? Injury to insult, you can get rid of. Overdrive assassin, break assassin, guard payback, dodge payback. We already have on everybody. Yeah, there's, they already each all have one. So I don't need any more. Uh, Aegis, garrison, all of this stuff I think is, you know, if you get a plus, maybe. Uh, we have also a lot of garrisons. So we have a lot of, uh, maybe we can get rid of, keep this Aegis and just sell a bunch of the garrison copies. Uh, there you go. Steel, because I think, yeah, I think uh, Aegis is better for the AI than Garrison, I think, because most of the time it's basically, are they getting one shot or are they not getting one shot? So Garrison's damage reduction at low HP isn't super worthwhile for them. Okay, go away, all of y'all. Burn resistance, slow resistance, sand tomb, held under, uh, paralysis, dark flame, sure. Yeah, just get rid of all of this. And now we can do a whole bunch of trading with Sierra and then get some, uh, some trains marvels going as well, potentially getting some really nice stuff. And then we'll go back to the quest grind here. We got a poison resistance. Okay, health five. We got precise wrath five. I'm just mashing this button as hard as I can. I don't know if there's a better way to skip all this. Sequestration right stone, I don't care about. Sand tomb resistance, I don't care about. Sequestration, sure. All revive four, not good. Uh, fortification right stone, I also don't care. Fortification right stone, I don't care. Sequestration, say it with me, we don't care. Uh, precise resilience, I don't care. Uh, dread right stone, uh, interesting, but nothing still. Vitality, I think, is the one that I'm most concerned about to get my crit rate to 100 without having to worry about having any other additional things like Soul Eater or anything like that helping me. Crit damage is uh, okay. Uh, throw is worthless. Uh, sequestration, again, we do not care. Uh, guard payback, we do not care. Blight, blight resistance, uh, can you guess? Nimble defense, that's actually not bad. Uh, paralysis resistance, okay. Fortification, we do not care. Uh, it does have guts on it, so that's pretty good, I guess, right? We, we were talking about right stones with guts on them. That does have guts, but again, I would rather it on a better base right stone than fortification. Uh, steady focus, okay. Worthless for Vasaraga. It makes it basically you can't be interrupted during charge attacks, but like we, we already have stout heart built into us. Quick cooldown five could be interesting, but again, not something I really care about right now, I don't think. Charge attack four, don't care. Poison resistance, don't care. Quick charge four, don't care. If it's not five, I don't care. Guts, also not really important. All the AI already have guts in some way, shape, or form. Aegis and low profile, paralysis resistance, and dread right stone once again. Okay, nothing too interesting there. Four trans marvels, let's see. Enmity five plus, okay. Unfortunately, not really our, uh, our bag anymore. Versalis soul, that's for uh, id there, I suppose. Wait. Versalis Foundation and Vers wait, is this like both of his unique sigils in one? Damn, that seems really good. Crimson's Flight and Improved Dodge. This is Zeta with, an, with a max improved dodge on it. That's awesome. If we could get something like that for uh, Vassaraga, that'd be wonderful. Phantasm's Harmony. This is for Fairy. That's Lazy Ruin's character, but I, I do not play Fairy. Okay, so, so we actually got a lot of interesting stuff off of the uh, off of the the things there, right? But uh, actually, should I be not trading these in? Because can you have more than one copy of these? That's something I, that if you guys know, let me know. I'll, I'll also ask around in Discord because I want that answer actually pretty quickly. And this video is going to be a ways off from when I'm recording it, when you actually, when you guys actually see it. But like, can you not get duplicates of these? No, surely you can because you can get pluses. Basically, what I was getting at is like, if I like hold my Phantasm's Harmony, well, can it? Can I then? Sorry, excuse me. Can I basically remove it from the pool for Trans Marvel, so then get, get giving myself a bigger chance to get the Vassaraga stuff, right? But I don't think that's the case at all. So no, I think I, I'm, I'm gonna do it for now. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna just sell them anyway. But if if I learn later that that is a bad idea, then that's a bad idea. But for now, I think they are just a lot of vouchers, so we will get rid of them. Uh, but yeah, that that is the the both of the uniques there, or the unique and the 15 improved dodge. That is some really nice stuff. 
Trans Marvel definitely gives the best stuff, right? But it's just it's so hard to actually access. Uh, okay, Hello. let us get back to our shift here. We got a clock back in. Uh, defeat monsters in the Fondam Isles. It is uh, Dragon and Inferno Isles. Oh damn, is this is this like Frazarek and two Inferno Isles or something? That's actually quite the. Uh, that's quite. That feels like it's a lot harder than everything that we've been fighting so far. That's a big deal. Another damage cap. Oh yeah, I think it is because Frazarak is the one who who drops these damage cap fives, right? I mean, I, I, we would like at least at some point we want four damage cap fives. I think. I think. Um, so that that'll be that'll be useful to have. Uh, so let's see. Let's see. I think this might be Frazarak and two Inferno Dials, which will probably be the hardest one of these so far. I think. Because the Rock Olam, I mean, Vrazrak is like a real boss, even by himself. He's pretty easy by himself, but he like he, you know, he can actually stand and bang with you a little bit there. So, let us see. Let us see. I gotta put uh, Mirage Munitions on Soul Eater. I think we are almost at plus ninety nine. We have the four that we need. Yeah, yeah. Wow, it is actually just it is straight up. That is uh, that's Vrazrak. Oh wait, no. Oh no, it's the I see. It's the Ancient Dragon. It's the weak one. Okay, okay, okay. That's okay. So yeah, it's 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 a, it's a weaker dragon, and then two Inferno Dials. So true. So yeah, a little bit should have a little bit of an easier move set to deal with. Gets paralyzed instantly there by uh, Oigen. I do love that paral. Oh my god, he he really feels that status effect, huh? He does not just get to uh, shrug it off for free like some of the other stronger bosses do. He has to sit there and really uh, suffer the consequences. All right. Get bonked, nerd. Get double bonked, nerd. He's rearing back his ugly head. I mean, I guess it's probably better to focus on the Inferno dials, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, actually, maybe, I, maybe I'm going to switch to that right away. So, I mean, yeah, because we're doing good damage to this guy, but he's not going to, like, he's not going to melt. The Inferno Dials will probably die a lot quicker if I just focus them alongside the, the crew here. Is, oh, my god, is, uh, is my guess. They should be weaker individually, I would imagine, because there's two of them and only one of the dragon. But perhaps, perhaps that's a, perhaps it's a foolish guess. Let's see, how much does this do to him? It did about... Huh? Okay, well, that, that that one is... I want to hit him with a full one. But yeah, I think it did about 3%, the Ancient Dragon. Uh, okay, okay, guys. I, I haven't been able to hit him with one full charge attack yet. Come on, please. Come back here. All right. Please just sit still for one second there, fella. That counts. Uh, actually, no. He looks like he... He has about the same amount of HP as the Ancient Dragon. So maybe it is better. The Ancient Dragon is honestly going to be easier to hit. And he's going to, and he also has more full screen nonsense that he could potentially hurt us with, right? Maybe it is actually going to be better to focus this guy down first. I have uh, sort of changed my mind once again. Bonk, bonk. Yeah, he looks like he he takes about three percent from that. The Inferno Dials maybe take like four, right? But it's not like a massive difference. It's not like he's twice as tanky as they are or something. So I I'm okay to just oh my god to just uh, blow him up here. You know what? I'm I'm immortal painting. I don't want to deal with any of this nonsense. Let's just get the attack up from Grinoff back as soon as we can, and now we can do some big charge bonks. There you go. Get slowed while you're here before you can go into overdrive. Rock em! God, I love collateral damage. It's so funny. There you go. And another one for the roads. Bonk. Bonk. Link attack. Yeah, he's already about half dead, right? This isn't so bad. I mean, honestly, the Inferno Dials are pretty disruptive too, I guess, because they can just do like these full screen charges and things like that. Uh, what is this? I forget. Is, he, is it like a worse version of Razorak's Meteor Storm, basically? Yes. Yes, it is. Okay. So it's not, it's not so bad. It's going to be tough for the AI to dodge this and the Inferno Dials, I think, but they seem to be doing all right so far. This guy is just, he is just a weaker version of specifically Vrazarek, it seems like. I, mean, I, I can't remember if I'm saying uh, Vrazarek's name correctly, but it's, it's it's how I remember the letters being arranged, so I will just go with it. Bonk. Oh, Link attack. Don't mind if I do. Uh, I do want to SBA the big boy. Actually, if we can get them all close by when I SBA, it'd be even better. Yeah, like... I'm gonna do this actually. I just don't wanna. I don't wanna deal with whatever. Oh, I missed. Okay, that's cheating. That's not fair at all. I'll have you know. And of course, the roll. Uh, the, all would have been all would have been prevented if my SBA didn't just like whiff hilariously. But it's fine. These things happen. Uh, Inferno Dial does not fall over like Quackadal because there's no walls to his stage, so he he can uh, actually you know uh, survive his own bloodthirst there a little bit more. Uh, let's break this guy real quick. Get 100% link to potentially use on Monsieur Ancient Dragon. I can teach you a thing or two. Alright. Oh, God. Please, leave me alone. I don't like you. You are stinky, and I think that you deserve uh, no love. Okay, I guess that, that was maybe a little harsh. My bad. Uh, this is gonna be bad. I need to respect this move a little bit. There you go. He keeps doing it. He keeps doing the thing. Thank you for the Panacea, Cap. Mostly to even, if anything, just to get me back up to uh, the max stamina, right? 
so we can get uh, big damage there from being full HP. I guess I could Skybound Dart again right now, but at this point, we, we have our link, 100% link, so I'm going to save that first. I want to do that, and then I will uh, beat him up. Plus, I mean, we, we got a break, too, so yeah, there's no really there's no need, really. All right, he's broken. We'll get the uh, the link time off on him, right? And then we'll Skybound Dart him for another back-to-back -back link time. We can blow him up real quick. Uh, oh, no, he's Godskin Nobling over there. I hope he's. I just hope he doesn't target me. Of course he does. How, how could how could I how could I expect anything different? Oh, uh, really delayed on that big slow roll there. But whoa, baby, get perfect dodge, nerd. I'm not even focusing on you, and I'm still perfect dodging your ass. And that's just how much how far I am above you. Okay, but the guy that I am focused on apparently I can't dodge the moves of, so that's a little unfortunate to be sure. Okay, this is going to deplete my Granoth Gate. It's a sad time to be alive. Uh, maybe? Yeah, yeah, it's starting to deplete already. We gotta hit something real quick here just to stop this depletion. There you go. And now we can keep, uh, we can actually work on refilling it on the big boy over here. Uh, he really, sh I really do want to stun him at some point. I mean, is, is this, is this, uh, what I've lost for giving up Elserov? It takes me a lot longer to stun these monsters. I can't just, like, stun them on command anymore. Alright, battalions, there you go. Captain? Nope, Captain is busy. Gotcha. That's uh, that's my bad, I suppose. Hopefully they stun somebody else then, and we can uh, we can link time them. Alright. Bonk. Bonk. We're not hitting damage cap right now, because we didn't have the attack up from Granoth. Now we should be. Uh, okay, on the second one, at the very least. Get blocked, nerd. Get battalions, nerd. Get slow, I suppose? Nerd. Rock em. What's he doing? Oh, nothing. Gotcha. Okay. Once again... I find myself needing to heal up to get back to max stamina range here. I guess I will just Skybound Dart this nerd. Oh god, I'm too far to link to actually trigger that link time. Yeah, that's fine, fine, whatever. Oh, okay, good. you know what, as I said that, I was like, yeah, maybe not whatever, so it's a good thing that I missed. Because even even though this guy's almost dead, there is still more fights to be fought. So getting getting a link time in is going to be good. Yeah, we, this has been, we, we, we've been very uh, inefficient. This is not the run, as it were, right? Because if we had just gotten a couple link times in better locations, it would have been a lot better for us. Uh, I do want to, I guess I do want to Undyne, just so I can hit the qu the Inferno Dials here, while uh, Dragon Boy is doing his thing and not have to worry about it. There you go, we can break this guy, for example, and just beat up on him with the Undying attack buff without having to worry about uh, whatever the hell the Dragon is getting up to. Grinoth, too, is going to be some good stuff here, and that'll actually get us link time. Right. Uh, yeah, there you go, Rock'em did feel like participating. I guess we're using it on the Inferno Dial. At the end of the day, it's all part of this one. You can think of it as 300% total HP that we have to deplete, right? So it's all it's all worthwhile. There's no wastes necessarily to get link time on. All right. If we can hit both of them a little bit here, and eh, not quite. If we were uh, positioned a little bit differently, possibly. But we can't quite hit both with one attack there. Ooh, that was a pretty good uh, accidental perfect dodge for me there, but I'll take it. That's for damn sure. Uh, is, is Dragon Boy still in overdrive? Yes, he is. Okay, well, this will be great then. And now this will get us 100% link time once again, so we can very quickly go back and start doing even more damage to the dragon or the quackadiles or whoever the hell is still left up by the time that this Skybound Dart Barrage is uh, is done with. Ancient Hollow Point, okay. Get bonked, nerd. We do have the attack up from Granoth, so we're doing we're doing big deeps right now. I would love a defensive down on uh, on this fellow to get us to, to that good old damage cap even easier. But it seems it seems such a thing is is not in the cards. It happens. He's about dead. I actually don't want to use Link Time on him, if I can help it. I would ra he's going gonna to break right here. Exactly. Everything you say to me, he's about to break. Alright, bonk. There you go, he's dead. Uh, and now we can we can spend Link Time on... I guess let's let's kill this guy. He's already the closest to it. And he's almost at Overdrive 2, which we would love to uh, deny him the opportunity to do. So, there you go. Link right there. Rock'em. There you go. He was getting, I was getting concerned for a second. But Rock'em did manage to come through there for the team. And big bonk and big bonk. Let's do that one more time. At least we'll get one of the big bonks here to start in link time. Oh, we actually didn't. It didn't count, unfortunately. Okay, well, I'm gonna. I'm dying here, and I'm going to punch you, and I'm gonna punch you, and I'm going to link attack you, and I'm going to punch you, and it's all, it's all, it's all just going wonderfully. Okay, so we will hit this guy while the other one is doing his godskin noble thing. Or we'll hit neither of them because they're both not playing nice. That's fine. Battalions of Fear. All right, all right. <laughs> it's funny every time, man. I can't, I can't get over it. Cause I, I never, I never, I never see it coming. Like I never notice when Rocco's collateral damaging. So I'm just like, you know, going off with my day, and then suddenly everyone is screaming, Rocco. I'm like, why, why? What's happening? Okay, you're now doing that thing. You are now chilled out. Oh, I don't have. Uh, I'm not undying anymore. I should. Uh, oh, I should be a little bit more careful. Exactly. I'm out of potions, which is unfortunate. It means it means it's a little bit harder for me to uh, get all the way up to stamina again. 
bonk. Okay, he's dead. That's wonderful. I said that that bonk had a little bit of trepidation behind it. That's for sure. It's okay. It's why God gave us uh, what's it called? Auto auto revive. Right. They took it too far, and now I will have my revenge. I like Oigen's voice. I mean, I know I'm making fun of it a lot, but it's just like it's, it's, it's like fun to say things and that sort of gruff cowboy-looking thing that he's got going. Uh, okay, there's your bloodthirst done with. Get slowed while you're here, if that's all the same to you. And if it's not all the same to you, then it all, it's all the same to me, so. Bonk. Bonk. My opinion is the only one that matters here, unfortunately. Nice. He gets stops in his tracks there for a second to do that fire breath, which means he remains in range of our big bonk. This will actually be a three burst at the very least, with me, Rockham, and Oigen there, so that's good. Uh, probably not going to be a four burst. I doubt the captain will find another 10% skybound gauge there. Oh! I found two already. I don't know. We don't need it to be, regardless. It's going to lead into a break, and this uh, Inferno Dial here is... At this point, with only one of these bosses, he is he is severely outgunned. He needed that uh, that numbers advantage that he had earlier. Yeah, it's going to be a three burst. Get him! The burst might kill, actually. Yeah, it does. Okay, okay. The Skybound, uh, these chain bursts are doing more reasonable damage. Now, I still don't think it's, it's quite... It's a lot. But, like, uh, with all the extra uh, damage cap up and, and damage up from the Masteries, the, the Chain Bursts and the Skybound Darts, they do something, right? They're no longer, like, basically just there for Vulnerability Window. They do, like, an actual reasonable amount of damage while they're at it. Uh, maybe reasonable is, is, too, is too far, but they do a noticeable amount of damage. Which is, it's something. You know, it's not even what I want them for, so it's, it's all just a cherry on top as far as I'm concerned. For me. Quick cooldown 5, Inferno Orbs, Mirage Munitions. I think we can get uh, Soul Eater here up to level 99, or uh, plus 99, I suppose. Which is always, that's, uh, you know, that's good eats. So we will certainly do that. And, uh, I mean, I guess from there, we start putting Mirage Munitions on our AI partner's uh, weapons, I suppose, right? We'll start with Oigen, probably. I feel like he's probably the uh, the beefiest boy that we currently have. Um, Okay, quick cooldown, combo finisher, yeah, 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 yeah. Nothing super interesting. But yeah, I guess, I guess that's all we have, right? Because once you have 99 on one character, we can basically, we can get any, we can immediately transfer all of them, right? So all of Basaraga's weapons for the end of the game now, all can have that plus 99 whenever we want. Uh, okay, so let's put Mirage Munitions. We have six, so I have two left over, and I guess, yeah, we will put two on Oigen. Giving Mirage Munitions to AI, I never thought I would see the day, but we are simply out of, uh, out of stuff there. There you go. Uh, I guess, oh yeah, we'll probably have another one, too, because we finished Rosetta's Fate episodes last time. Let's uh, let's check Lyria's journal real quick and see uh, if we have any trophies we can collect stuff for. The answer may surprise you. Uh, it is yes. Yeah, we did get a Mirage Munition and then a whole bunch of other stuff for killing dragons, I think. All right, wonderful. We'll put that on Oigen, too, I suppose. Uh, we do also have 2,000 mastery points, and now it is. We alternate between uh, one round of overmasteries and then one round of filling out some of the defensive masteries there for the AI, so we will... We, we did a little bit of the Captain's Mastery Tree last time, so we will now be trying one more time to see if we can get anything good out of the Overmasters. So far, the answer has been no. I actually had a pretty good roll the first time. I had, like, some uh, normal attack damage cap up and critical hit rate and attack up and things like that. It was from the, the cheapest Overmastery, too, but I accidentally overwrote it when I didn't, before I realized how Overmasteries worked, so it's very sad stuff. We will do this, I suppose. And let's see. Stun power. Normal attack damage cap, uh, cap is a big deal. Uh, normal attack damage cap up plus 8%, because uh, the heavies are normal attacks, right? So, skill damage up, healing cap I don't care about. So basically, it's we're trading the attack power 700 is the other is the best thing on our current overmasteries for some damage cap. As much as I like the attack power up, I feel like I feel like I, we kind of have to go with this, because we are still hitting damage cap every now and then, so this will still be this will still be extra damage in some circumstances. Gentle Reaper, what the heck? Is that because we did the overmasteries a certain amount of times? I suppose it must be, right? That's all that's changed since we got that. Uh... No, uh, seems to be no, what's it called? Seems to be no, uh, things. Dark Souls. Seems to be no rewards for that one, though. Uh, I, I like Gentle Reaper, though. We can, we can set this as, like, a title, right? Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? It must be higher up here. Uh, my, did I, did I go right by it? I hope not. Huh? Well, yeah, characters should be, should include, like, oh, I, I guess it's, it's here, right? Yeah, so it's not actually, is it, is it gear? Is it other? Yeah, Gentle Reaper right there. I like that as a title. I use Overmastery on Vasraga three times. Yeah, let's let's set that to our uh, our thing there. Does it show up here or does it only show up in online? It? Yeah, only shows up online. That's okay. That's fine. Anyways, yeah, let's keep chugging along here. We could probably do probably do one or two more of these uh these these multiple boss fight quests here. Uh we didn't get a damage cap five out of that actually, which is unfortunate. I would have liked that. We that would have been our last one that we potentially needed. So we just level them all up and have max damage cap when when we can actually use it utilize it. But Felfrost I uh, Fell Frost Alter. That's the one. Uh calling monsters on Mount Negaleth. 
Cure Hell. Okay, no, no, nothing special. But yeah, this is this is Scarmiglione, and this is uh, Blizzard Isles, right? So this is probably either like two Blizzard Isles and a Scarmiglione is my guess. Uh, but I've been wrong about these guesses quite often. Link together five plus. Link together five plus with attack. Okay, okay, nothing uh, too exciting quite yet. I don't think no damage cap five. All right, yeah. Well, again, we're just we're going down. We're we're cleaning out the list here. We're. Uh, Clocking into our shift in proud difficulty here. So we're just cle clearing these quests for the sake of clearing them for all intents and purposes right now. It'll unlock... I have stuff over on my desk there. It'll uh, it'll unlock more quests as we clear those ones. Just some, some pepper there. Gotta make sure that it... Uh, you know, sweep it sweep it to the, to the side. But yeah, we, we already unlocked a couple of uh, higher advised power quests. There's one that we have to fight Galanza and Magliel at the same time. And we unlock that by killing all the dragons, right? So there's they're still used to clearing out these quests. It'll unlock new stuff for us, and that new stuff should be cool. Oh, actually, no, it's, it's two Scatamillones and one Blizzard Isle. Interesting. Uh, I feel like the Blizzard Isle is probably going to be the most disruptive member of this uh, this partnership here. So we're going to start with him, is, uh, is my current plan. Oh, though, so, you know, they, they can all inflict Glaciate. So maybe they're all just a problem, and I, I have to uh, put some respect on their name. Oh, well, though. Oh, you know. The Scarmillones, they sure are, they sure are, because like, the, the thing, uh, when we had the Garrison, we had the Garrison and uh, and someone else, and I forget who. But it was, it was the Garrison and uh, two Nazar Banju, that's what it was, right? It was the Garrison and two Nazar Banju. And I feel like I really didn't even notice the Garrison for most of the fight. The Scarmillones definitely seem a lot more active, right? They have a lot more stuff to mess with you at range. Also, our damage cap has officially crossed 700k, which is pretty nice. That's a nice little milestone there. We're doing 1.4 million damage with each of these heavies when we actually do uh, hit our damage cap, which is, that is a real big number, and I'm very happy to see it. Uh, Undying's about to run out, so let's be careful here. It did, in fact, just run out. Uh, I'll, I'll use my potion. Let's not let the cap fantasy us just yet. So he did just pan fantasy us, so maybe we should have. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, I should, I, maybe I should save my Undying in these fights for when there's multiple, the boss are doing multiple, uh, either someone in Bloodthirst and I still want to just beat up on the guys who are left. I have been glaciated. I have to imagine I'm going to die. Yeah, okay. I was like, there's no way. I'm gonna, I have to get so lucky to survive this glaciate without getting hit one more time. Blizzard Isle doing his thing. Is he going to fall over? He hit a wall, didn't he? Yeah, okay, okay. That's good. Yeah, so we can we can beat up on him a little bit here. We get uh, through some of this overdrive that he's rocking. He's not taking a lot of damage. God damn, it's that ice armor, I suppose. There you go. Broke some of it off. Broke even more of it off. Grinoth is pretty good at that. I suppose it's got high stun power, high break in general. Get Link Attack to Nerd. This should help too. I think this this third heavy here is also more stun and more break. Yeah, so it'll be it'll be better at getting his uh, his armor off of him there. Which in the long term will be better for our DPS, right? Because uh, that armor is pretty bad for our DPS, I dare say. Ooh, I can with the clutch paralysis there, right when the guy's right in front of me. Good stuff. Uh, I guess we can Skybound Art him pretty soon here, right? It's not like we're even close to 100% Link. As soon as Eugen has 90, or anyone has 90, I will uh, I will Skybound Art here. So we can get basically a full burst. They're not, uh, they're taking their sweet time building up the Skybound Gauge right now, though. I tell you what. Uh, yeah, no one no one is actually getting that much. I guess Link Attack will help if we can get a uh, stun on this on this individual right here. I did not realize he was coming back for seconds. Oh, oh I was guessing Eugen just got it, but then I, I went down immediately. Uh, let's do this. Sure. This will be a full burst, right? Get us get us to 100% link and just generally help us. And we want to we want to thin the numbers here as soon as possible. You've heard me say it uh, a couple of times now, so you get the idea. Bonk. Bonk. And hopefully this will catch any Scottamidiones who are trying to uh, mess with us also. Right? In in the crossfire there, as it were. There's lots of AoE on these Skybound darts. Bonk. Bonk. And now he's got to wait and see where uh, Tide of Chaos sends him off. Because that can sometimes int us a little bit. And it did. Yeah, so that's why we roll forwards. And now I think we should at least hit him with one of them. Maybe even both? Yeah, nice. Right, let's get out of here, though. Wonderful. Oh, God. I did not uh, rub some dirt in it. Is that what he just said? Because the captain went down? That's funny. Oh, it's a tough SOB, as the kids say. I guess not even the, uh, not the kids, as the, as the, as the boomers say. <laughs> All right. Let's get link timed. So this is nice. And now I think I can actually hit a bunch of them with one AoE here, which will be good. Yeah, yeah, like right there we hit the Scott and the oh, and the, uh, the, the Blizzard Isle, so that's good. Let's see if we can keep it up. Yeah, and the, the fact that there's multiple people here, yeah, we can hit them with uh, the same attack and uh, get a lot of link time too for our trouble. That wasn't so bad. We, hit, we did a couple of uh, actual AoEs there, which is good. Uh, um, is he in overdrive? Yes, he is. Okay. I'm going to do this so I can just kill him, hopefully, straight through his overdrive. He does resist damage quite heavily here, but we are still going to hit him pretty hard with Undying and everything. 
We can't quite finish him off before he starts this roll, huh? No. Okay, so I guess we'll just we'll focus on the Scott Mediones here. And Undying will mean we don't have to really worry about his uh, his roll causing us any trouble. Uh, bonk. And the moon sets. And bonk. And link attack. And bonk. Uh, the Blizzard Isle is probably dead. Like, it's probably uh, falling on, the, on its face right about now. I guess we go finish it off. Oh no, he actually maybe didn't help. Oh, he, oh, he was he was one light attack away from getting his ass beat. So wonderful. Uh, Scarmiglione. Now it's only two of them. Right, this, the fight gets a lot easier once you call one of these guys. Oh, that's cheating. As soon as right right when I was gonna slow him, he decided he was uh, ready to bloodthirst. So of course he resists the status effect at that point. Uh, this is all pretty easy as long as you don't get hit by one of these little grabby boys. Which is unless you are pretty asleep at the wheel, it's kind of hard to get hit by the grabby boys in my experience. Uh, oh, what, wait, they spawn all these... Oh my god, they spawn all these little guys, huh? Ow. Fair enough, fair enough. I, I was like, maybe underestimating the uh, the overdrive situation there. Oh, that, that uh, collateral damage was great, though, huh? That took out a lot of the little babies. They just gotta respect it here, run around it, and uh, it's pretty hard, I think, to actually get hit by any of these guys. And by the time it's over, it's over. It's a pretty, pretty uh, toothless... Uh, bloodthirst, all things considered, as long as you don't just try and ignore it and stay in bang with him. Because it'll go through, it's not a status effect technically, so even Undying can't ignore that. I've been frostbitten, I'm gonna be glaciated real quick. Yep. Yep. Is so, oh, okay, but there you go. He, I got I got unglaciated with a, with a nice small hit, so it wasn't so bad. Ow. Fair enough. Get bonked. Get double bonked. I'm, oh, I'm blocking that, which I did block, but I did still get glaciated. Okay, that just applies more Glaciate, I guess, so it actually wasn't so bad to get hit by, even though I was Glaciate. Alright, get rolled, and get rolled, and now we can do a big charge here with Impunity because of the Invincibility. Wonderful. Uh, I guess, yeah, we'll... Actually, let's, let's, let's break you first, and then we can go further. At that point, that was the wrong heavy. But also, I just wasn't dodging. Oh, they're, they're merging up. You know, if we can hit both of them with one Skybound Dart, then maybe I will Skybound Dart right now. No, the other Scott Milione is... Uh, all the way over there. What's up, dog? Don't mind me. Just trying to break you. I hope you. I hope you allow me. There you go. Wonderful. And bonk, bonk, great scythe into this, just to get us all the way up to the attack up again. He's gonna do the thing. I'm gonna perfect roll it because I'm just built different like that. And now we have the attack up. I'm gonna link attack his ass. This is not so bad, right? This this feels like the the Scott are uh, they they were definitely being a little bit more active than I would have expected them to be, right? But uh, at the end of the day, the the Blizzard Isle being like the main guy there, he he is, he ain't built like that, right? Like in the in the Dragon fight, the the Inferno Dials were the side mob, right? A, a Quackadile being sort of the, the main the main dude there is not. Ooh, I was gonna Skybound Dart there and I just did it a little too slow. There you go. Let's do it right now. Uh, we might be able to... Nah, I don't think we can kill this guy. I don't think we can kill him before he gets another Bloodthirst going, but again, his Bloodthirst is not so spooky, right? So this is just a, a nice way for us to, to beat him up real quick like. Alright. And bonk and double bonk. It's also better now that I know that Overdrive reduces your damage cap. It is kind of better, I think, to, to use these when people aren't in Overdrive, unless you really need them to not get value out of your Overdrive. But it's, it's a lot more uh, damage to use this outside of Overdrive so that they're... Uh, not re not they're not reducing your damage gap necessarily. That guy got broken, huh? Perfect timing. Well, we're gonna have to switch off of our prioritization of this dude. Yeah, he's about to go into overdrive. I guess swinging wildly like this is probably a little bit uh, of a bad idea, just because. Yeah, okay. I said I want I wanted to just hit the other guy while he was down, but these uh, skeletons here are going to cause me big trouble. They let you go right before. It's actually you can just dodge it anyway. It's just a joke, I suppose so. Um, that guy's going to die pretty soon, so let's let's help him along the path here. Hit the He's running away too fast. He's running out of my uh, out of my range, even with him being slowed. All right, then, and it's him dead. Wonderful. And now he's going to do a very similar attack to his buddy. What? Oh, I guess just being nearby there was was slowly ticking up some glaciate or something. I guess so. I wasn't even like being hit by anything. I don't think, unless I unless I was being very blind and something was hitting me. Bonk. Okay, cancel that. We'll get a link time on this guy. That'll be big damage. He will not be... Oh, yeah, yeah. Just being in the, in the like, area, yeah, is causing Glaciate buildup. This is definitely the uh, the worst status effect, I think, right? This just, like, stops you dead in your tracks like this. Oh, my God. Fair enough. My bad. I was not familiar with your game. Okay. Okay. I'm being a little too uh, belligerent versus this guy, I think. I'm just, like, active. I'm just, like, trying to stand there and take all his shit, and it's just not a great idea. 
But again, it's just kind of because we are, we are just like kind of going through the motions here, right? Clocking into our shifts, clearing out these proud quests, uh, going as fast as we can, but, you know, while also not taxing our brain too hard. Uh, Undying here, we'll go say nice immunity to all this Glaciate nonsense, right? I don't want to deal with any sort of boss mechanics. It's not, it's not why I signed up for the video game. I signed up so the boss had to deal with me, not the other way around. And now we should be able to get a bunch of bonks. Yeah, all those little guys dying should also help extend our link time a little bit. Look, and as, as, it, as it goes longer and longer here, the gate starts depleting uh, very quickly. So we're not going to get able to get too much more off of it, but that was an extra bonk, essentially. Rocka, let's slow him before he bloodthirsts. Never mind. A fool's errand. He bloodthirsted basically right away. All those little guys. Oh, wait, what? Oh, there's still the dark waves there, I see. It's not just the little guys. If you're too close to them, there is still those waves of darkness there that you got to avoid, which I was not even looking at. Oh, of course. How could I be so naive? All right, all right. Bonk, bonk. So much for our critical condition side objective, but again, I don't think this quite even drops anything we necessarily care about all that much. I've been frostbitten. I just want to hit him, man. I just want to stay next to him and hit him. And it's, uh, this is uh, this, this Glaciate status is one of the things that just punishes me being so... Uh, Silly and uh, and just blatantly disrespectful like this more than anything else. Can't see what he's doing. Oh, it's bad. It's double bad. Link attack. Oh, I didn't get a chance. That's fine. Now's our chance that I miss. Owie. That's my bad. What are you doing? I can't see. Uh, apparently you're glaciating me. That's fair. Uh, apparently you're killing me. That's fair, I suppose. That's on me. We'll uh, we'll skybound dart him and once, as soon as we get up here, that'll be a full burst and he'll be dead. But you know, a little a little embarrassing to be sure. Bonk. There you go. He's he is officially done for. Bloody moon. Owie. The Antitin Kanona. That's how he's pronouncing it, huh? Interesting. I wonder what it, I wonder what it means. Again, it's, it's it's pretty obviously German or maybe Dutch, right? At at, at worst there. But I'm not sure what Antitin means. And this is gonna kill him. Wonderful. Cool guys don't look at explosions. You know how it is. Oh yeah. That's a pretty cool shot right there of us just uh, looking away as he gets swallowed in a void of darkness. It's great times. Get down there, motherfucker. Battalions to the treasure chest. We gotta loot as quickly as we possibly can. Apparently we overkilled two of them. Oh no, oh no, that must be the, the little guys now that I think about it, right? Must have overkilled uh, some of the, the little boys. Aegis 5, Uplift 5. Okay, again, Uplift, I've been told, is actually pretty good, because uh, Skybound Art... Art... Skybound Arting, I suppose, is the word there. Uh, more often is always going to be a good thing, right? So, maybe I'm maybe I'm sleeping on it right now, uh, but I am currently still asleep. I'm currently still taking a big nap on Uplift, um, but we'll see. As, as more of my sigil slots become, you know, optimized, and maybe I don't need quite as many slots for each of the skills, right? Uplift may very well find its way into my heart. Besides that, I don't think anything too interesting. There's some Fortitude Crystal Elk, right, which is good. But again, all of our weapons are at max for now. Uh, we get better weapons later, I'm sure. But, well, we do get the Terminus weapons for the very least. I do know that. Um, yeah, let's let's very quickly keep going down uh, the Captain's defensive masteries here and just get where we, we do eventually want 1,000 or 100%, sorry, on all of the masteries for all of the AI, right? So right now they're all at 100% offense, right? But the captain's at 80% defense, uh Rockham's at 73 and Oigen's at 56, right? So we'll we'll get all of them to 100% and then we can just focus permanently on dumping it all into overmastery. I might even do uh, this is going to be the last video I record in this session today. So uh this video, the one from yesterday and the one from 2 days ago were all recorded in one session. So I might even do some slime peed off stream or something like that. Or off stream, off off camera, I suppose. I don't stream quite yet. Uh, so yeah, off camera and just finish off the masteries there, just because you know it'd be nice to get tap that 100% for everyone. It just feels good to look at, you know. Uh, but yeah, let's let's we'll that'll be the last quest we do for this video. We'll just do some some housekeeping stuff here, and then we will uh, head off to our story corner, and all of you non-story folks can uh, can you know uh, mosey mosey on out of here. But let's do let's do one more round of CRO nonsense here. Uh, crit rate, potion hoarder, and regen. Interesting, but not something that I really care about right now. Overdrive assassin. I also don't care about. Uh, none of the sequestration right stones are ever going to be any good. HP and uh, I'll keep the one with guts on it just in case because that could be again you never know when that might open up a build slot for us basically. Uh, and the same thing with this auto revive one, which is the reason I'm not trading them out there. But all of you guys, please by all means get the hell out of my face. Let's trade some worthless sigils here too. Uh, health five and guts. I guess it's just basically a guts plus could be worse, so we'll keep that one around. Uh, let's let's trade off a lot of the uh, a lot of the, the defensive support and special ones. I think are the ones that I don't really care about. Uh, oh, but the pluses will get included in that too, yeah. Garrison Auto Revive, no, I'm fine keeping that one. I, I really, okay, I need to get give that to the captain. I keep forgetting. Uh, Steel Nerves, nope. Makes your guard harder to break, I don't care. Improved Dodge, that's good, actually. Uh, yeah, we will keep, we'll keep those. Uh, we only have, oh yeah, someone doesn't have improved, one of the AI doesn't have improved Dodge, I suppose. Or maybe they have a, they have it off of something else, but yeah. We want four of those, one for everyone in the party. 
Uh, nimble defenses are equipped on a lot of them. I think... I think... Uh, oh, does the captain not have it? Okay, we'll sell one for sure. But we'll keep the, we'll keep those others, I suppose. We do want everyone to have nimble defense. I could have sworn all of the AI had nimble defense coming from somewhere. Maybe the captain has it from uh, some sort of plus sigil that I'm just forgetting about. In any case, trade to trade. Wonderful. And now we can do a whole lot of transmutation over here for Mrs. Sierra. Skull Assault 4, unusable, literally unplayable. Fortification Rightstone, get out of my goddamn face. Dread Rightstone, not as bad. Nimble Defense on it, and Lucky Charge, so that could be something. But again, right now our Lucky Charge is on our Crit Rightstone, and I like that better. Uh, quick Charge 4, I do not care. Attack Power 4 plus with a Nimble Onslaught, it's something, I suppose. Dodge Pack, oh, Dodge Payback 5 with a Nimble Defense. This is actually, this is like two slots for that I, that are, I would consider basically necessary on an AI. Uh, there, it's two slots combined into one, so it's actually, this is a really, really good pull here. Uh, Cascade 5, that's pretty good too. It is basically a worse version of Basaraga's unique one. Maybe we can stack both. Maybe we can do his unique Sigil there and Cascade and uh, get our skills going really, really quick. Uh, Undying in particular is, is something we want basically active all the time if we can help it. So those are already two kind of decent ones there. Uh, critical Damage, okay. Skilled Assault. We do have a Crit Damage 5 already slotted, but who knows? We, we might need more. It might be one of the more efficient ways. Tyranny 5 is great. I need more Tyranny 5. I feel like Tyranny is one of the most uh, Sigil slot efficient ways to increase your damage alongside like Stamina. All right, so uh, I do I do love me some tier 5 Fortification Redstone, get the hell out of my face. Sequestration, you heard what I said to Fortification. It goes for you too. Paralysis Resistance, you heard what I said to the other two. Okay, tier 4 not really what I'm looking for. Health 4, absolutely worthless. That's the worst pull we've gotten so far. Hey, crit rate and damage cap. God damn. Yeah, like, stuff like this is why I might eventually... I want to get uh, crit from Overmasteries and things like that, so I don't have to worry about using Lucky Charge to get 100% crit. It'd be really nice to get 6 damage cap there. But again, damage cap, we're probably going to get to 60 just through Sigils alone, so we don't really need to save slots for... Uh, off of damage caps, it'll be it'll be four out of twelve. And I think it's very it's four very important slots. So, quick charge four, okay. Uh, exploiter four, gotcha. All good. There's your resistance. Damage cap five, and oh, that's our last one that we need technically, right? Well, I don't think we actually need to slot it yet because we're not hitting damage cap enough to make use of all of that damage cap. But eventually, having four damage cap fives is going to be very important for us. So it's good that we now officially have them. We just need to level them up. Uh, break assassin, okay. Uh, sequestration Rightstone, get out of my face. Steel Nerves, you heard what I said to the other guy. Okay, okay. We have three trans... Okay, this is... Oh, let's, let's get let's get some some a little bit more in, in the way of... Uh, let's, let's keep that damage cap one just in case. Yeah, let's get a little bit little bit more in the way of... Yeah, this is a worse version of that, so we can get rid of it. Uh, in the way of vouchers here, so we can get four trans marbles going. I think that'll be uh, a good thing to do here before we finish off the episode. Because trans marble, that's where the, all the exciting stuff happens, right? So we want to, uh, we want to do that. So let's do a little bit more here. Uh, health 4, worthless. We got 4 trans marbles now. It's good. Regen 5, maybe for AFK farming, but I don't really care about all that. Uh, steady Focus 5. Okay, okay. Nothing good there, but trans marbles. This is the important stuff. Overdrive Assassin 5 and Skill Sealed Resistance. Okay, okay. Eh. Uh, Hero's Will and Fast Learner. Okay. Vein, I don't care about. Exploiter 5 and Rupee Tycoon. Not really my tempo. And a Dread Rightstone with 6 uh, crit rate and improved healing on it. Okay, okay. All of that was kind of poopy, to be honest, but it's fine. We will continue trying our luck at the gotcha, and one of these days... It'll give us like a damage cap 5, charge attack 5, or something like that, and we're going to absolutely lose our minds. Uh, that is not today, though. That day is, is not today, unfortunately. Okay, well, that is going to do it for this here episode. Let's, say, let's take a look very quickly at what quests, what what proud quests we have still left to do, right? We have a bunch of the, uh, we, we finished a lot of the multi-boss fight ones. There's this one, and there's the higher level ones, and there's Galanza and Magliel. So we only actually only have four quests left in the list for now. I'm sure we'll unlock more as we go through it, but we'll have to see. We'll have to see what happens after, uh, after this Galanza and Magliel fight here. Maybe we'll go back at some point and try and get a better rank than C on Bahamut Versa, but again, it's not that big of a deal. All right, wonderful. Well, yeah, so we're, we, we, I don't know how much time we have left in uh, in our playthrough of this game here. It's probably not like, I can't imagine we have more than a couple of weeks of episodes at the very most. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. Uh, again, the, the goal for this campaign is basically, or for it's for this playthrough of Reeling, is to beat Lucillus and maybe even, you know, try and get our build as optimal as we can within reason. Right, and then we'll we'll move on to something else in 7 p.m. time slot here, but we'll we'll have to see, we'll have to see. In any case, for now, if you guys are not one of the story corner folks, I'll run you through the outro so you can get on with your day, and we will go to our story corner later. So, uh, if you have made it this far in the video, then I got four things for you as always. Number one, join the Discord server. Uh, links in the description down there. It's a nice place, nice community to hang out. Just talk about gotcha games, talk about reeling, talk about fighting games, talk about art, talk about music. There's a, a channel for everything in there. It's just full of really nice people you can hang out and make friends with. People were watching the Grand Blue anime uh, when I was checking earlier today in the VC. So. I implore you to join, uh, but I also implore you to please keep it the nice and welcoming place it currently is. I really haven't had to do any sort of moderation uh, yet or anything like that, but I won't I won't hesitate to drop the man hammer on somebody's ass if I have to, so just don't let that be you. Don't be the first person I have to ever have to ban. You don't want that kind of reputation. Of course, number two, if you liked the video, and I sure hope you did, get down there and like the damn video, man. Come on, it's free. It don't cost you nothing. 
Greatly upset the channel. I appreciate it a lot, of course. While you're there, number three, that subscribe button, that bell button. They are all the way over there. They'll keep you up to date with all this content we're throwing at you every day. We got three videos coming out every day, and uh, well, between all of them, it's something with like two and a half to five hours of content every day, depending. So if you have all that time to dedicate to little old me every day, then I appreciate it. But that's kind of weird. If you are more normal and don't have that kind of time to dedicate every single day, then I implore you to hit those two buttons. Stay up to date when something new is uploaded and uh, maybe go back and watch it later when you have a minute. But of course, for number four, most important, more important than whatever buttons you smash or whatever YouTube friendly interacted with me with, I appreciate those. But I, more than anything, hope that you had a great time hanging out today. I know I sure did, right? It's, it's, it's fun. We're, we're, we're going through, we're clocking into our proud shift here, but the quests are still fun, and the, the fact that they're multi-boss fights makes them dynamic enough. It's not just the same thing over and over, right? So I'm still enjoying it here, and I'm enjoying, you know, every the little bit of dopamine I get every time I get something halfway decent from Sierra. Uh, but yeah, so I'm having a lot of fun with Relink. It's going to be a lot more. Uh, well, as I say, there's going to be a lot more coming your way. I'm going to see how much Relink we have still left to play, but it's going to be as much Relink as I can give you uh, still coming your way. But until then, if you're not one of the Story Corner folks, then I will see you in the next one. Peace. All right, Story Corner individuals. Uh, we are almost done with our fate episodes for all the crewmates we have unlocked so far. Yeah, and we are, are not going to unlock any new ones for at least until we get Vassarago's final weapon there. So for now, we will be doing uh, 1, 2, and 3, or I guess 0, 1, 2, and 3 here for EO, and we will we'll go from there. EO, interesting character. I mean, definitely a character that I've it's kind of grown on me as we've gone, but I also know almost nothing about her. So let's see. Let's see. If I hadn't met Master Zaka on that fateful day... Master who? If he hadn't saved me... There's no way I'd be where I am now. I'm from the Vault's Duchy, where the weather's sweltering all year long, thanks to a river of lava that flows through the island. Oh, goddamn, okay. My hometown might not have been the most scenic place, but as long as I had mastered Zaka with me, I was happy. Okay. After traveling for so long, I could finally say that with pride. Before I left on my journey, I was completely clueless. When my master went missing, I just ran around like a chicken with its head cut off. I was looking for something, anything that would help me find him. And that's when I met the crew. You went the reason missing, behind huh? his disappearance turned out to be even worse than I could have imagined. The Earth State Empire had driven him out of his mind. Man, this empire is just like messing with everyone's backstory, huh? They had manipulated him into awakening the primal beast that had lain dormant beneath the ground. Colossus. Colossus. That's a cool name. Fortunately, I was able to break through to him, thwarting the Empire's attempt to exploit Colossus's powers for conquest. I learned that they were doing all sorts of horrible things, even to their own people, in order to achieve their goals. This might uh, fit in with the research they were, they were doing on Lyria too, right? What uh, Catalina was struggling with in her in her stuff, right? So. I guess it's all the, the, whatever they're doing with Primal Beasts. I assume that's why they wanted Lyria, right? Because of her strange connection and ability to seemingly absorb or control or interact with Primals, right? So. My master was a kind person who never hesitated to help those in need. I resented the Empire for making him suffer. Fair. And I couldn't just sit around when there was work to be done. Oh, we got the triumphant that's music going now? to join the crew. To stick it to those Empire jerks and give their victims something to smile about. Okay. It's it's you know she's uh, she's 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 fiery there. We love to see it, and he's got a good a good heart behind her right for her goals. Interesting, a little bit of little bit of EO backstory there. That's good. I mean I had no idea how she got here, so that's definitely good to know. I'd like to know more about her master though. It looks like we're about to uh, to learn that. I lost my parents to an epidemic. Oh, that's so sad. Damn, she's an orphan. I mourn their deaths for who knows how long. I could barely even bring myself to face reality each morning. I mean, she's 15 when she meets the crew, I think. The glossary said she's 15. If she was like 12, 11, something like that. God, that is a horrible... That's, I mean, it's never. there's never a good time to lose your parents, right? But when you're that young, it's hard to imagine something worse. With no living relatives in vaults, I was like a ship adrift at sea. I had nowhere to go and nowhere to belong. Poor girl. Until one day, my master reached out his hand to me. I was so depressed, I just kept staring at the ground. That gentle smile never left his face as he asked me, Why do you look so sad? Oh. There was something in his voice that made me look up. When I did, a beautiful bouquet of flowers appeared in his hand, seemingly out of thin air. He's a magician or something? I had no idea how he'd done it, but I knew it must have been some kind of parlor trick. But he insisted it was magic. What a goofball, right? Saying that when he can use real magic. Oh, so it, was it... So did he do it with a spell, or did he actually do it with some sleight of hand? It would be actually, honestly, be more, it'd be more base if he did it with just, like, you know, uh, real-life magic parlor tricks there. That would be, that'd be, that'd be fun. It was just the magic I needed at that moment. 
beautiful and kind. Yeah. He went on to show me all kinds of incredible spells, the likes of which I'd never seen before. Watching him made me smile at a time when I thought I'd forgotten how. That's great, man. My master would always say that magic exists to make people happy. It's a tool, right? Something like this. I mean, this is very, uh, this might be a common, this might, this might even be what this Fate episode series sort of revolves around. It might be one of the themes, right? But this idea of, I mean, magic, uh, Lilith, Lilith used magic and he did not use it to make people happy, right? So magic is a tool. And if you can use it to make people happy, then that's a wonderful Something thing. Something about that spoke to me. It made me want to become a mage just like him. So I signed myself up as his disciple, begging him to teach me magic. I'll never forget how happy I was when he told me I had talent. Nice. And she, find, she found kind of a father figure there, right? Uh, which, which is obviously sorely needed at that moment of her life. After all, if he was right, that meant I had the potential to make people smile too. And what a pure mo- This is why I love kids, man. What a pure motivation there. I feel like that's not the kind of thing you would hear, like, you know. Like, Eugen, Eugen, for example, has a lot of positive messaging in his in his stuff, for sure, right? But he, with him being basically 50 years old, right? He doesn't say things in such an earnest way like that, right? Like how EO just said, like, like the reason she was so happy is because if she was good at magic, that means she could make people smile, too. Like, that's just, it's so wonderful, man. It's so straightforwardly pure and, and honest. It's a great time. Smile Conjurer! Oh, I love One the name of this chapter. after I joined the crew, I suddenly oh. lost the ability to use magic. Okay. No matter Weird. how many times I tried casting a spell, nothing happened. I had no clue what to do. The rest of the crew thought Master Zaka might have the answers I needed, so we set sail for vaults. Okay. It'd been forever since I'd been back home. My master was thrilled to see how much I'd grown. I opened my mouth to ask him about my problem, but when I saw how happy he looked, I just couldn't bring myself to do it. I don't want to disappoint him. It's like, yeah, I've grown so much, and also I can't cast spells anymore. I him that I'd come back as a great mage, but there I was, unable to cast even a single spell. Oh, but you can't. It's just a temporary setback, surely. The last thing I wanted was for him to be disappointed in me. Oh. Around that time, an epidemic returned to vaults. Oh, God. The same disease that had claimed the lives of my parents. Oh, no. Please don't, please don't tell me her master is sick, man. This girl's been through enough. Wanting to keep it from spreading any further, my master headed to the clinic. To speak with the people who'd been infected. Oh, but he God. ended up getting sick too. Oh, God, I knew it. The source of the epidemic turned out to be an evil spirit that revealed itself to us right there in the clinic. Hey, yo. I immediately confronted it. That rotten creature had already taken my parents from me. I wasn't going to let it take anyone else. Determined to make it pay, I raised my staff, but nothing happened. Very good voice acting, by the way. I'll never forget how it felt to watch helplessly as my parents killer got away the crew gave chase but i continued to stand where i was no without my magic i didn't see the point i just ended up getting in the way all i could do was watch as my master suffered withering away nothing had changed since the last time oh this is sad. i thought it was gonna be less sad it's called smile conjurer man but you know it wasn't all bad. Oh, okay. Hold In on. In search of a solution to my magic loss at the local library, I happened to come across a beautiful golden staff. One left to me by my mother. Golden staff? That's God damn. That's when Master Zaka revealed that my mother had been a mate too. Oh. On the verge of tears, I clenched my staff tightly in frustration. My beloved home and master were being threatened by a disease-spreading spirit, and there was nothing I could do to stop it. Okay, never mind. I was gonna say, now that I think about it, are there any, like, male mages that I know of? But, I mean, her master, for example, I believe is a man. Just it's like, is magic just, like, a female thing in this world? That's the case in some fantasy settings, right? Glow. Somehow I could feel it encouraging me, empowering me. Oh. So what if I couldn't use The staff magic? is powered by dreams. Surely there were other ways to help everyone. Unable to stand around doing nothing any longer, I ran off to find the crew. When I finally tracked them down, they'd already been rendered powerless by the disease. Oh, God. That left me as the only person who could fight. There wasn't a second to lose. It was that moment when I decided I was done running away. I would promised myself a long time ago that I was going to use my magic to make people happy. Smile conjure. Filled with newfound resolve, I heard a voice coming from the staff. Say what now? Um, is that you? Oh, damn. The voice told me to visualize the power flowing through me. As I did, I could feel magic welling up inside me. Flooding out from deep within. Eo is feeling the power that could tear her to shreds. With as my it mom's were. help, I was in the, able in the to words of Belial himself. Spirits. 
as soon as it was gone, light erupted from my staff. I turned to see the rest of the crew climbing to their feet. Their symptoms gone. God damn. The power spread through the entire island of Vault's Duchy, eliminating the disease and bringing smiles back to the people. God damn. This is some Okami shit, man. You ever play, play that, uh, that old PS2 game? Okami, right? You would, like, uh, liberate the area from the sort of darkness that was spreading, and it would just, like, slowly sprout out in a circle from where you did it. And every, all the color would return to everything and shit like that. Things they actually hit some Okami on, the, on their ass. While, but in the end, everyone pulled through. I don't know how she did it, and but she did it. I've been able to use my magic without any issue ever since. So we just never figured out why I she couldn't? I know it's because my mom is watching over me through my staff. Thanks to her, I can keep traveling with the crew. Using the staff she left me to bring out more smiles along the way. I'm still curious, like what... What was the original cause? Was her was it her not believing in herself or something? Like I I couldn't, I couldn't actually tell. Oh man, that is quite a smile. Cause look, uh, Eo's decision. Okay, neutral. Favorite teacher. That's pretty nice. Smile conjurer. Very nice. I hate you. Not very nice. Not very nice. That one's a much more negative name to the chapter. Oh, it's a kid. Oh, it's a little kid. It's a little kid. In Folka, he hates her. While out running errands in Folka one day, I came across a crowd of people in the town square. But from the sounds of things. It wasn't a friendly get-together. Usually never is if when there's a lot of strangers gathered in public. I hate you all! Mom, Dad, everybody in this stupid town! Oh. The boy kiddo. shouted angrily at the adults and took off running. Right into me! And we both landed on our backsides. Jeez! Watch where you're going, kid! <laughs> Yo, you're like 15. Calm and down. that's when I noticed the tears streaming down his face. He was clearly upset about something. Hey, you okay? The boy hopped to his feet without a word, shooting me a glare before sprinting away. Hmm. One of the adults started to follow after him, but... He's got such little legs, right? Should be easy to, to catch up to him, I mean, especially if you're like a big big old draft boy or something. Please, Doctor, there's not much time. Doctor. The crowd stopped him in his tracks. But I can't just... No, you're right. My patients need me. Forgive me, Lev. Lev? It's the same kid. The man closed his Isn't eyes. It? Muttered something to the townspeople. From uh, Catalina's? Direction. No, maybe not. Wait, that kid was crying. You're not gonna go after him? I shouted after the man's back, but he either didn't hear me or pretended not to. Then I felt a gentle hand on my shoulder. I'm sure he wants to, sweetheart. You see, that boy is his son. Oh. The boy's name was Lev. His father was a doctor with many patients needing urgent care. So he had no choice but to ask the townspeople to find his son for him. Damn, tough position. Dad's uh, maybe maybe that's why uh, the dad's always busy. He's never home. You know, the son feels uh, neglected, perhaps. I knew it's I a tough situation, my own right? Business. But I couldn't get the poor kid's face out of my head. He was probably hiding somewhere all by himself, crying his eyes out. Yeah. I understood all too well how painful it felt to be alone. Yeah, I guess it's like. It's a, it's a common problem. I mean, if I if I am to ever become a father one day, it's going to be something I have to worry about too, right? Yeah, you might be doing work. You might be doing important work, right? And you might even be doing that work for the sake of your family, right? But uh, if that work gets between you and your family, well, you know, no one has ever uh, been on their deathbed saying, man, I sure wish I made just a little bit more money. When Mastered Soccer reached out to me, it changed my life forever. Maybe it was my turn to do the same for someone else. Yeah, pay it forward. I love it. Right, this idea of uh, this this like chain of helping that uh, that you know if you help helped people help people right uh, is, is a pretty common theme in a lot of these fed episodes and I love it I think it's very accurate I think it's very true. I turned to ask the Something crew to keep if they join the search, but they were already gearing up to head after him. Yep. It seemed we'd all had the same idea. Yep. Just you wait, Lev. I thought to myself, I was gonna find him and put a smile back on his face, even if it meant sticking my nose where it didn't belong. Sometimes that, you know, it's a, it's, a, it's a fine balancing act there, sticking your nose where it doesn't belong, but sometimes that's uh, the difference between a, uh, you know, a good person and a bad person, is uh, being involving yourself in matters that don't concern you, if you think you have good reason to and can provide some, some value there. Um, but yeah, yeah, okay, interesting. I, I like uh, the beginnings of EO's Fate episode so far here. Like, there's a couple of... Uh, it, it seems to center, a lot of this is going to seem like it's going to center in some way, shape, or form around... You know, parents, the lack thereof, the importance of them, the mistakes that they can possibly make, right? And then how that might affect their children, right? So this is stuff that I'm pretty pretty passionate about, pretty interested to hear more about. So we'll uh, we'll go through more of EOS Fate episodes there in the upcoming story corners. But 
for now, you know how it is. As always, I am not going to run you guys through the whole outro because you heard it already when the non-story corner folks made their way out. So for now, I'm just going to say that I'm having a lot of fun with Relink. It's going to be as much of it as uh, I can give out to you, you know, coming your way. But until then, I will see you in the next one. Peace.